We had a couple good things. We got two Architerix things. We've mm -hmm. got a couple of lemon items. We got plenty of Nike, plenty of Under Armour. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kang. And we are the, the five, five resellers. resellers. And we have an unboxing for you. We ordered a hundred pounds of men's rescue box. So we are so excited to open these up and see what's in here. We've gotten some good boxes from Third Up. We've gotten some bad boxes from Third Up. So it's always a toss up. So we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> yeah, we're trying something new. Hopefully you like it. You can see in a better view. Hopefully, I don't know. Yeah. This is our first time trying it. And I don't know that we've seen anyone else do it. So maybe we're pioneering this whole thing. <laughs> Hopefully you like it. Let us know in the comments if you do. Yeah. Let's get started. Ooh, we got some tissue paper. Let me make sure that the, this looks okay. Yeah, so you can see that pretty pretty well. Excellent. Okay, so far, no shoes. No but, shoes, but they might be in the bottom. Yeah. A couple times we've opened them upside down and gotten the shoes first, I think is what happened. Right. So. Okay, so here we have a pair of men's dress pants. These look like braggy. Braggy? Never seen that brand before, but they are new with tags. Hey, so fifty two dollars. Fifty two dollars, that's pretty good. They seem like they're in a good size. What size? Thirty six by twenty nine. Pretty average. Short king. And here we have some REI shorts. These are some hiking shorts. Those should be good. We love selling hiking shorts in summer. So REI is kind of a bread and butter brand in terms of hiking stuff terms of resale anyway yeah. retail it's kind of expensive i feel like yeah okay this is the territory ahead we've actually sold this brand once before um it wasn't a shirt like this this is pretty funky pretty i think funky. it was more of like a hiking sort of shirt but this is pretty cool i could see this selling online or even taking it into a buy sell trade store i could definitely see them selling this at buffalo exchange that is like totally their vibe for men <laughs> Okay, another pair of dress pants. Theory. These are Theory pants. Oh. That's pretty good. That's a high-end brand. I didn't know Theory made men's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we have a men's um, sweater listed right now. Oh. So these are pretty nice. I would bet that they are wool, maybe. Let me see. Oh, I think these are women's. They say size six. So they're 85% wool. I bet that they're a women's. Men don't really have size six, so. This is what always happens. We order a men's rescue box and we get a few women's things. I don't know why. They just must be moving pretty quickly. Right. Luis Rafael. Yep. Another pair of dress pants. And this has... Not a lot going for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, it's got this hidden, hidden extension. That's pretty interesting. A little elastic in there. Yeah. You know, in case you eat a big lunch. <laughs> Yeah, big men eating big lunches. Yeah. Okay, we've got an under, under armor. armor. This looks like just a little sweatshirt hoodie type thing. These sell pretty well. Uh, uh, not no for string. a lot. Yeah, no, no drawstring, fortunately. Oh. So this will probably sell for like at most fifteen dollars, but it will sell. Hurley. Some Hurley shorts. We've sold Hurley shorts before, and again, it's one of those brands that people like and has a good sell through rate but around like 10 to $15. So not a ton of money, but pretty good. Men's pants, seriously? Another pair of Seems men's like pants. Seems like Robert Graham. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope. Uh, Hickey Freeman. Hickey Freeman. Here, put that under the, the camera. Hickey Freeman. Pretty interesting on the pockets, you yeah. know? Just a little hidden funk, you know? <laughs> hidden, yeah, <laughs> who's gonna see that? Well, yeah. What's the point? <laughs> Except for the pockets there. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. When you're actually really fun, but you know, you gotta be professional at work. Right. So here we have some J. Crew shorts. These are J. Crew factory. You can tell that by the dots underneath, but these will probably sell for about 10 bucks. Hmm. Are you looking at that when when you're saying no, certain comments? I don't know. I'm, I'm basically, I'm looking oh, down at the thing. Look. Arcteryx, oh, our cool. first time getting Arcteryx. Yeah. Arcteryx from anything. Yeah, we've never found that brand before because we live in Texas, so it's not like people have to try to keep warm here. It's just mm -hmm. warm all the time. Yeah. So this is pretty exciting. That's a pretty good brand. Yeah. So we're excited to see how much this will go for. That logo is a fossilized something or another. I, I think it's, it's a called. fossilized Arcteryx. Ar yeah, yeah. Isn't it like an animal? I think well, Arcteryx, I think Arcteryx is, is short for whatever Arcteryx 
there is a longer fossilized like dinosaur name for it. Oh, okay. Anyway. I see, I see, I see. But very uh, exciting. Yeah. J. Crew knit goods. J. Crew. So another J. Crew item. J. Crew is very bread and butter. Mm -hmm. It should sell for, I don't know, at most $15. All right, we've got Gioberti. Gioberti. I don't know. It looks like a field coat. We've done really well with those in the past. Yeah. So I could see this doing pretty well. Pretty cool lining. Yeah, pretty very good. cool lining. Size large. Gioberti. Yeah, kind of a canvas. I don't know. That's just a cool style. And this type of coat never really goes in or out of style. Like, it just is always in style. Mm -hmm. So a pair of Under Armour shorts, and again, Under Armour is basic bread and butter. These look like golf shorts maybe, or I'm not really sure. I would guess that they're golf shorts. We like to usually ask our audience where they think these boxes came from. So mm -hmm. at the end, hopefully we'll have a better idea because I've forgotten where they've come from. Yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> but, was like, I don't even know if we could find where they came from. Yeah, we'll take a guess. Okay, so swim trunks maybe? Yeah, no. it look, looks like it. I don't or maybe know. just some Bermuda shorts. From Brooklyn the, Brigade. Yeah, I've never heard of that brand before, so. Me neither. Never I've heard never of heard this. of this either. Yep. Dunning. These feel like golf shorts to me, but I don't know. Men's shorts seem to sell quickly for us. I mean, they seem to move, so we're happy to get men's shorts. It's better than dress pants. Dress right. pants are like the pits when it comes to men. <laughs> yeah, they do sit around for quite a long time. <laughs> Polo, Ralph Lauren, dress pants. Dress pants. Well, these are khakis. Khakis are better. Because you, khakis you can wear more That's places, true. you know. Yeah, it's more business casual. Right. That's true. Right. Yeah, I feel like just not as many offices have such strict dress codes anymore. So people are just, you know, there's just more dress pants out there than the need is anymore. Chaps. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure this is Chaps. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that logo. So Chaps is just like a basic brand. It's, I think sold at Kohl's maybe or JCPenney. Never heard of this brand before. Never seen it. So there's a logo but... there. Zealousit. And then there's that little tag. No idea. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard this. Interesting. I like selling swimsuits though. They seem to do pretty well. A pair of Tommy Hilfiger khakis. Cute. Cute. <laughs> right? Basic. <laughs> sure. Oh, a blazer down in here. Interesting. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know why you said ooh. Oh, look. Maybe a new attack? Yeah. New button. button. New button. New <laughs> button. Yeah, made in Italy at least. So yeah, made in that. Italy. It's got a cool plaid and... Giggly. Giggly. 100% wool. Cool. So at least that's a plus. Yeah. You know, a good blazer at least will be 100% wool. Yeah. Made high quality really high quality so there you go another one another blazer another blazer this one's a scratchy type oh it's also made in italy i bet it's the same brand oh, yep. oh yeah it is and yeah. let's see also 100 percent wool nice. so same brand yeah this one seems very um professor like media pocket oh interesting. oh cool it's so, an oakley yeah. sweatshirt oakley so oakley i think I, every time i think of oakley it's kind of like upper middle class or oh really yeah upper middle <laughs> class i don't know that it would be high class I you know obviously so. their their sunglasses cost a lot of money but yeah. otherwise well yeah. i don't think we usually pick up their clothes like when we see it at the bins really. but i would bet that this will actually do okay penn state interesting League. so this looks like a something that you would get from like the college the store. store yeah yeah so Penn State, really popular college, so at yeah. least that's going for it. Yeah. Here we have a Polo Ralph Lauren quarter zip. We just sold one of these this weekend, and these are pretty much bread and butter. The ones in the larger sizes do a lot better than, like, this one I think is pretty small. Nike Pro Combat. Interesting. Looks like a workout shirt. Yeah. Looks like it's got some sweat seeds, though. <laughs> Cross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Used. <laughs> Used. <laughs> <laughs> Paisley something. Let's see. Lauren Ralph Lauren. Lauren Ralph Lauren, some dress pants are fave. Dress pants. The one good thing about dress pants and men's dress pants in particular is that it's like really easy to list because you just basically measure everything and then that's what you put in. And you know, you put in the it's pleated front, if it's flat front, and you know, the color, the material, that sort of thing. So it's pretty straightforward. Hudson, Hudson and Barrel. Hudson and Barrel. I think I've looked this brand up at the bins before and I put it back. So, I... just a plain pair of shorts. Yeah, just Lame. some chinos. Let's see what this is. Fruit of the Loom. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of like ever I think, light medium. I think that's sold at Walmart. I'll just hold on to it, I guess. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, there's more. There's another. Another one. Oh my gosh. I guess there's I probably have, a two pack. Yeah. That you got from Walmart. I'll have two of these now. Carrick Don made in Ireland, 100% pure new wool. It's a vest. 15. Cool. Cute little vest. Yeah, it's an Irish knit vest. So Irish knit items, you know, like um, these thick wool sweaters and stuff, these can actually sell for a good amount. So I would bet that this will sell for a, a lot of money. Like when people go to Ireland to visit, they'll like get these thick knit sweaters and you know, they're really expensive in like the tourist shops and in the local shops and everything. So definitely, I feel like that's a good good piece in here. Land's End. Okay, some Land's End Chino shorts. These look like women's to me. They are pretty short. 38. No, 38. they're men's, I, I think. They're so short. When he needs some booty shorts, some khaki <laughs> booty shorts. Yeah, men, men can show off their booties too, right? Yeah, I guess so. Here we have an Alfani sweater. Alfani is sold, I believe, at Macy's. And it's not, doesn't have like a, an amazing resale value, but the other Alfani things that we've gotten in other thread up boxes have sold. So they do sell, they just don't sell for a ton of money. Okay, here we have another Land's End item. This is just a Land's End shirt. I've yeah. never seen one like this where it's just like spelled out like that, but that's pretty cool. Size large. If you're, you know, a Land's End stan, you know, you can <laughs> rep the company. Fabletics. Ah, almost Lululemon. So Fabletics is expanding into men's items. And these are some Fabletic shorts. They're pretty cool. Pioneers of it reselling for you. We'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, we've never sold Fabletics men's before. So this brand is Second Skin. Look at that logo. We've never seen it before. Never seen it. Don't know anything about it. So medium. At least I could wear them if I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, we have no idea what this logo is. <laughs> <laughs> we failed you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Quick dry. Quick yeah. dry technology. Old Navy. Lame. Basic. The classic Old, shirt. Yeah. At least it's a decent pattern. Yeah. I could see Buffalo Exchange buying this for me. I don't. I don't see Buffalo Exchange taking that. Another second skin item. And this medium is a shorts. pair of shorts. See, those the are, thing with cool. medium is that if all else fails, I could wear them. So yeah. we're not totally broken up about it. Yeah, and that's the nice thing about reselling is that, you know, you have a constant influx of new items into your closet. Except we spent $400 on these two boxes. So it's like, <laughs> ah. We hope we'll make our money back. I'm sure we will. Another so, second skin item. Large. We're going to have to sell this though. Yeah. I can't wear it. I hope that's a good brand since we got a couple items. I'm not so sure since we've got so many of them. So here we have a tech gear pair Drop of shorts. Ugh, lame. It's okay. Bonobos. Bonobos. Darn. Okay. So we've, we've recently sold a pair of Bonobos golf shorts. These feel like golf pants maybe. Mm -hmm. They're kind of light like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. It does so, feel like, oh, look, it says yeah. Bonobos golf. Yeah. So I would bet that these will sell for like 20. Okay. Here we have another Lauren, Ralph Lauren, pair of dress pants. They're pretty much the exact same as the other kind. So I would bet they're probably even the same size. Oh no, a vest. These are oh. the worst. These are actually the worst of Joseph, all of them. Joseph Abood, even? Joseph Abood is sold at Men's Warehouse and it's not that expensive yeah, originally. At least it's so. new tag. Yeah. It might sell with that. It's got the yeah. extra. It's got, I mean, it's got kind of a cool thing underneath. It's it definitely need a needs a lot of work. Oh <laughs> rolling for sure. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible item overall. Dockers, I believe, is also sold at Walmart. I, I, don't quote me on that, though. <laughs> but um, this is just a quarter zip, so we'll see how this does. Probably like $10, $15. Here I have a Nike quarter zip, so just basic. Basic. Bread and butter. You're basic. Most of these items that we're pulling out will sell between $10 and about $20. Unfortunately. Yeah. We need we, some real big, big hitters. I know. It's, it's too bad so far. We haven't been, you know, gotten anything crazy, but. Another Fabletics. Yep, another pair of Fabletics shorts. So we'll see how these do. I mean, all things considered, these are pretty nice. They feel nice. They yeah. seem like high quality. The thing about men's clothing is that even things that aren't like super desirable do sell. So when we buy these boxes, we list everything and eventually most of it sells either to people actually on the platforms like eBay and Poshmark or to buy, sell trade stores. But we have pretty good success in terms of the sell through rate on these items because men's items just have better sell through rates than a lot of women's items because they're more 
it's just more saturated of a market in women's. And we have known that the statistic on men's used item being sold and purchased is going up. So mm -hmm. it is kind of trying to catch up to the women's right. market. Okay, so here American we have American Living. Living, quarter zip, American Living. I saw this today going thrifting and the comps were not great. So there's a tag. It looks nice and all, but not that great of a resale mm -hmm. value. It's one of those brands that I've definitely seen at places where I shop. So if it's at places where I'm shopping and within my price range, it's, it's not gonna sell for a lot of mine. <laughs> Joseph A. Bank, 1905. Oh, interesting, new tags Okay. down here. We'll so that's it. good. But yeah, men's dress shirts also don't do that great because they're a dime a dozen online. So, oh well. Oh well. Eyes odd. Eyes odd. That's not that great. Definitely not that great. Uh, yeah. Don't pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> polo, that's good. Polo? You like polos? U.S. Oh. Polo Association. <laughs> yeah, we don't like U.S. Polo Association. We've had yeah. a couple items that we've gotten in other thread up boxes and they have not really sold. Yeah. Or if they did sell, they sold for less than $10. Has our good streak ended? Stay tuned for the yeah. other box. Yeah. Nautica. So Nautica t-shirt. T-shirt. Interesting. Lame. Not great. Size medium. At least I can wear it. <laughs> Black t-shirts. You're, so gonna be, you're gonna be like, what's that? Is it Mark Zuckerberg who wears the black t-shirt every day? Well, or is Harry it Mack wears a lot of black t-shirts, so I could be I like. I think Harry maybe Mack. it was Steve Jobs that wore a black t-shirt every single day. Like it, that was like his neck. uniform. He yeah. Wore a neck. yeah. Anyway. Even in the summer, he wore a turtleneck. He didn't wear short sleeve shirts. I don't know. Short sleeve shirts. Geniuses have their own. Well, you could adopt a uniform and wear a black t-shirt every single day. Okay, Land's End. Another Land's End item. This person this who sent in this box loved Land's End. Oh, this one's pretty nice. It's yeah. like a quilted sweater. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This one I can see that cool. selling. Large though. I cannot wear this one. I actually could see myself wearing this if it was my size. Yeah, on like the two days that it's actually cold enough mm. to wear a sweatshirt. Yeah. Let's see, a yeah, utility jacket, which is cool. Surplus gear, Old Navy. Old Navy. Uh, mm -hmm. Not so great. So uh, it's even stained. Oh really? Unbelievable. Dang. Why would anyone send this into thread up knowing that it's stained? Why? Well, why? 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 Well, I think a lot of people send stuff into thread up just to get rid of it. You know. That is terrible. Well, I mean, Stop the, the people who are the people who are sending in the men's stuff anyway, they're just getting rid of it because it's not like they're gonna make any money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't already know, thread up doesn't take men's items. Yeah. So that's why we always order the men's one because it's, you know, basically fresh donations. Well, not really donations, just fresh, <laughs> fresh items. Right. They aren't really donating them. I guess they are. Unwillingly, I guess. Yeah. Well, Navy Active. Yeah. It's basic. Basic. Ten bucks, maybe. If even. Oh, I see. I see. A, I see some shoes down here. Oh, that's good. So that's good. We're almost there. Yeah. Okay. Callaway. Okay. Callaway. Right. We'll take a Polo. Callaway. That's pretty good. Hopefully there are a few more Callaways and we can lot them up. Mm -hmm. Under, Under Armour. Polo. I bet this will do pretty well. It's a good size. So. 2XL. J. Ooh, Crew. Extra small. That's interesting. A sweater. Seems like, mm, seems like wool. A ni mm, nice maybe. soft wool. It's 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. Cashmere blend. Cashmere blend. All right. There you go. <laughs> Put in the keywords. Yeah. PGA okay. Tour. PGA Tour. Polo. That's cute. Yeah, not great. Yeah. Medium. I guess I could wear it. Okay, so we've got another Old Navy activewear. Okay. You know, Here if for go. some reason you want a big lot of stuff and you want to help us kind of break even on some of this stuff, let us know. Yeah, if you, you know, I feel like often people have men in their life, you know, or you are a man in your own life and <laughs> you just want to buy, you know, some basics for cheap, watch this video because there's probably a good amount of stuff in your size, so. Okay, here we go. We've got a QI cashmere. I don't know what oh, that is. Cool. And it's got a bunch of Oh holes. yeah. So that's holes fan, everywhere. fan freaking tastic. <laughs> cashmere, Yikes. no longer a cashmere. You know, trash we, mirror. Trash, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so I've heard that you can at least recycle cashmere, so maybe we can mop this up and see yeah. if anyone wants it. That's what we've heard from one of our subscribers. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, we've got new tags. Levi Strauss, five sixty nine. Okay, that's so pretty good. So Levi's new tag will 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 sell. Yeah. Let's see. They were retailed for fifty eight dollars, so that's not that's terrible. Good. 
yeah they're kind of a an interesting color it looks like they were sold at marshall's also for we'll take that tag off <laughs> <laughs> 25 dollars. okay we've got okay. calvin klein yep uh. some dress pants by calvin klein pretty interesting um plaid which is good it's kind of like got like the hound's tooth in there too yeah a micro plaid micro is what they plaid. call it where it's like oh. real small like that i guess let's see if these last two pair of shoes are any good they are um pretty squished from yeah yeah we have had these boxes for a while so we haven't unpacked them up until now they're nike okay there's the, air max it looks like there's the nike check the bubbles are good you always want to check the bubbles with air maxes the bottoms seem to be pretty new so this is promising yeah so pretty good yeah everything checks out so far they don't seem fake we don't have enough experience with sneakers to really know for sure. So yeah. uh, we're going to have to do some research and yeah. hopefully they'll sell. All right, I'm going to put these back in here for a bit and then we'll take out these last pairs. They're Adidas. 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 It says Raph Simons. Stan Smith. Wow, look at that. Cool. That's pretty cool. But well, who's this Raph Simons guy? We got to so do a little bit Stan of research. Endorsed by Raph Simons. Oh, look, look. Okay, so Stan Smith is right here. And then we've got Raph Simons here too. But it only says Raph Simons on the side right here. Oh, yeah, cool. And then we've got Stan Smith back here. I bet these are worth money. I, I feel like that these have to be. These are these so are interesting. Cool. Look at these two yeah. together. We've got Stan Smith and Raph Simons. Okay, that's it for this box. We're going to get settled in and put all this stuff back into this box. And we'll open up this another one. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's open up the second one. Yep. Second Fingers half. crossed this is better. Yeah. You know, in the past, so. we've had one really good box and then one kind of okay box yeah so hopefully this is the really good one yeah. okay and we got the two paper get out oh hollister starting off not strong well it even looks like there's some color bleed oh i don't know well maybe that's just part of the coloring well i don't know these plaid shorts these plaid bermuda shorts are kind of y2k so maybe they will do well they're not cargo shorts, which is a bummer, but they are plaid and definitely Y2K. So <laughs> we'll have to see how those do. Patriots. Okay, new with tags, okay. NFL Patriots. Honestly. Originally 45, so pretty good. That's pretty pretty nice. Yeah, I feel like there are a lot of Patriots fans, so yeah, that should be many. pretty well. Next, we've got Tiger Woods collection. So okay. Nike Tiger Woods has that done pretty, does yeah, pretty well. Pretty yeah. well for us in the past. So... That TW right there is that well-known Tiger Woods. Yeah, Good it also says Tiger Woods. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> Travis Matthew. Okay, Travis Matthew. Uh, like the uh, stitching on this is coming out too. I know, so. it's kind of weird on that side. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, bummer. Low quality so far. Okay, let's see another Nike item. Bread and butter. A little sleeveless workout top. You know, when you want to show off their, their gains, your arm gain. The thing that I hope with... You know things like that is that there are multiple and yeah. I, I haven't seen multiple of much of anything really. so that's gonna be tough to list yeah. single one singles mm -hmm. you know if there were lots that would be a lot easier to list the, and so the other thing though is and something that we don't often do is we don't often take things to plato's closet which is another buy sell trade store and they i've heard buy a lot of men's athletic stuff so we could sell those men's athletic stuff to Plato's Closet. Mm. I personally don't like going to Plato's Closet because they're always kind of mean to me. Like they're always kind of rude mm. and it's always kind of a long wait. So I like other buy sell trade stores better, but we'll try it. We could try it. Okay. So here we've got Vineyard Vines. Vineyard mm -hmm. Vines does pretty well for us yeah. in this particular color. I'm not so sure. Okay. Another Under Armour piece. This should sell for like. 10 15 dollars yeah under our polo so, lane yeah okay here we have some volcom I think. volcom yeah volcom volcom shorts yep there you go pretty cool we don't pick up a lot of volcom it doesn't sell that well for us so okay the, the north, north face. face this should do pretty well for us it's a hiking oh, shirt cool Plaid. yeah this one is very yeah utility like yeah it's pretty cool so I would expect we'll get like maybe $20 for this. Are things finally looking up? I don't know. I Let's sure see. hope so. Okay, what does it say? Donna Karen. Donna Karen. Interesting. So Donna Karen, I believe, is the DK and DKNY. So, 
a little bit of a higher end I did brand. Not know that. And these look like they are wool. 100% virgin me. Virginie? Yeah. Virginie wool? Yeah. Not so. virgin wool, Virginie wool. Yeah, Virginie. You see that? <laughs> I hope you see that because I'm not crazy, okay? It says it has that, that little thing right there going on. Is this fake? I don't know. I don't know. Jeez. Okay. Know. So we've got some sort of Nike puffer vest. So I this bet is pretty that this cool. Will do well. It looks packable. Mm -hmm. These kind of puffer vests usually are pretty good. You know, in different brands, we you know have sold a Patagonia one for a, a lot of money. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that this one is good too. All right. Here we go. J. Crew. This is a, this is a nice. It looks like a shacket. Oh, look at that. I think that's women's. Yeah. Not many men's have this half yeah. zip type. Thing. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let me look at the the tag here. So it's cotton, wool, and viscose, and then holiday 2018. I would bet that it's women's. I would yeah. bet it's women's. That's my first instinct. Yeah. I don't know a lot of men's items that have this zip halfway. Yeah. But, Seems kind of weird. But I feel like you could, like, if you were a man watching this video and you wanted to wear this, I would say that's great. Yeah, maybe I don't think I'll it looks, wear this. I don't I think it looks wear too it, feminine, you know? You, know? Do you, um, do you think this would look great on me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't All think right. that looks so cute. Take a look. Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> okay, maybe it is women's. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is women's. I don't know. Meryl. Okay, not bad. Okay. Okay. All right. A Meryl looks like a hiking shirt. It says, what does it say? Opti Wick. Opti Wick and UPF. 20. 20. So not too bad. I feel like 20 is not that much in UPF. Isn't UPF supposed to be like 50. 80 or 50? Yeah. <laughs> Reaction, Kenneth Cole. Okay. Just a pair of dress, dress pants. pants. Jinx. Yeah. They look like they've been maybe even taken in. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, this looks good. This is a Columbia. Like a soft shell. This looks nice. We've had pretty good luck with some Columbia outerwear. Mm -hmm. um, it is dirty though. So Oof. that's not good. I don't really like getting dirty. I mean, obviously, no one likes getting dirty things. <laughs> but I don't like it from Thread Up because often what we do is we will steam most of these items instead of washing them. Mm -hmm. And so then we have to put some aside that needs to be washed and it's just like a total hassle. Under Armour, Under Armour. jacket. This looks nice and it looks like it's in a nice size. Extra large. All cool. right, we'll take it. Yeah, so I would bet that this will do pretty well, probably like $20. Marker. Marker, hey, okay. That. The ski. marker ski pants mm -hmm. or snow pants, I guess. You can wear them for whatever. So that's pretty good. I would bet that these will do pretty well. Not right now, you know, in summer, but into winter. Yeah, it'll take us a while to list all this stuff anyway. So. Yeah, garage. Garage. That's I thought it basic. said garbage for a second. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you're garbage. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, all right, garage. So I think that's women's. This seems to be a crop top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe custom? <laughs> no, I think it's a crop top. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that up's really, really on my bad side right now. Nomad waffle. Okay, a little waffle knit. Those are pretty basic. Basic. You're basic. You're basic. Medium. Bonobos. Okay nine inch inseam they just should sell you know shorts just some athletic shorts whatever whatever man good sport i am not being a very good sport about this <laughs> yeah. anyway banana republic i just feel like this is this has been very unlucky because we've gotten some pretty good luck in the past and yeah i feel like maybe our luck would continue but no apparently not yeah I guess we should order another one. We we need to order another one to kind of regenerate the yeah, luck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know down in the comments if you want us to make another video about another 100 pounds. Okay, so this is Banana Republic, but it's Banana Republic Factory. You can tell by the dots underneath. But I would expect that, that will sell for like 10 bucks. By the way, don't encourage us too much because $400, we're not playing around with this. We, yeah. we got to make our money back. But yeah. also we're kind of addicted, so we got to find that really, really fine line. Yeah. We like doing these unboxings. They're pretty fun, but yeah. But it does costly. give us it does give us a lot of inventory all at once. And right now we are, you know, planning to move into a time where we're not going to go sourcing as much. So that was the plan with this box anyway. It's not like this is our normal sourcing strategy. Our normal sourcing strategy is to pick the items ourselves from the bins. And with that, we get a higher, you know, 
average sale price because we are hand picking the items rather than just getting a surprise box. But right. okay, Nautica, button up, basic. Basic. Yeah, basic. Quick silver. Okay, just a little plaid shirt. Pretty interesting. Should sell. Hey, maybe we could lock this up with the Hollister one. They're they're like the same color, <laughs> green plaid. Rugby University. Oh my okay. gosh. I feel like this is a nothing. Yeah, that's brand. probably nothing. Rugby oh, University. Well. Uh, John, John W. Nordstrom. Nordstrom. So this is from Nordstrom, the department store. It looks like it's still new because it's got the little collar plastic thing. thing here. That should do okay. Although, looks like it's bleached. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Bummer. Come on, you can do it. Turn it around right about now. Right about now. Okay, yes. some guest jeans. Ooh, metal. Men's jeans do pretty well for Just us. So. Premium. We'll see. Very interesting wash. I know, yeah. I don't know if I think that you should wear those. <laughs> under Armour? Another Under of, Armour sweatshirt. We have gotten armor. a lot of Under Armour. Like a ton. Yeah. Too much, I feel like. Yeah, probably a little too much. Size I large. wish we had gotten more Nike stuff. Nike stuff is better than Under Armour. Yeah. Oh. Turtleback USA likes to be a cell phone holder. That's so lame. <laughs> Another lame item, unless it's Hermes. Nope. J. Crew. J. Crew. Lame. Lame. Hollister. 2830. Interesting. Interesting. Button fly. Button fly. That's pretty good. Hmm. 2830. I feel like that's. Maybe a lemon size. And also they're flares. They're flares. flares? Wow. So I feel like maybe those are women's. Jeez. Maybe. Or men's flares are coming back. I, I guess. What do you think? Are men's flares coming back? Let us know in the comments. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, we don't so. know men's fashion enough. That's why we, that's yeah. partially also why we do these boxes. Ooh, look. What is this? Lululemon. Yeah, all right. All right. We love men's Lululemon. And this looks like maybe some sort of scuba hoodie or something. That's interesting. I've never seen one like that where it has the Lululemon there too. Nice, nice, nice. That should do really well. Men's all Lululemon right. does great. If you want to buy this for $400, we'll give you the rest <laughs> of this box too. You know, we'll send you this whole thing. Plus shipping. You Plus have to shipping. pay shipping though. <laughs> yeah, we don't mess around with that, okay? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> the eighth summit. Okay, this looks like a windbreaker of some sort. Looks Pretty nice. cool. Yeah, should do well. Jackets, you know, just in general are more expensive, you know, retail, so then they resell for a little bit more, so. Looks Pretty to be cool. a men's large, but look at how <laughs> that's coming out. <laughs> yeah, men's large. Some Under Armour pants. Yeah, it looks like golf pants. Golf so. pants, those are pretty good. Yeah. 20 bucks. I'll take it. Is this Taylor Stitch? No. Nope. Nothing. Something extra small. Extra small. Interesting. What is this type of material? Like a flannel? Yeah, it's like a flannel. It's 100% cotton. It feels really soft though. Let me see. I wonder if there's supposed to be another tag there. Do you think it's Lululemon? Uh, no. no. <laughs> it says XS. Lululemon doesn't do that. Whoa. They do for men's. XS? Well, I don't know. Here, let me see the let me see the tag. M U J I. I feel like we've gotten one of those before, and um, it was think, nothing. Yeah. So, it's nothing. Yeah. Extra small. Hey, look, another little lemon piece. Oh, really? Cool. Huh. Nice. We'll take that. Yeah. I feel like we've sold one of these before. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, can't yeah. remember what it's called, but yeah, it's yeah. like a running tee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Says, you can't score without goals. Yeah, yes, we've score. definitely sold this one before. Yeah. I feel like we sold it for like thirty dollars. I think so. So Pretty we'll good. take it. We see that it's XXL. Pretty good size. I feel yeah. like big men's size. Even oh, Lululemon yeah. does well. So we'll yeah. take it. All right. Got a few saving graces in here. Armani okay. Exchange. We spoke too soon. These look like uh, These are wool thick. pants. Thick wool. Yeah. So hopefully that means it's high quality. We'll yeah. It. Although we had a pair of Armani Exchange jeans that we had in another thread up. Rescue box and they sold really fast. So hopefully these will be the same. Yeah, it says holiday 2013. So <laughs> wow, almost a decade old. <laughs> wow. And yeah. they're cargo. They're pretty cool though. I have to say those are pretty cute. Finest quality, the Herschel. Isn't Herschel really high quality? Well, like, Herschel makes like backpacks and stuff and those sell pretty well. So this looks like a rain jacket, like a slicker basically. Size medium. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. I would say that this will sell well. Some Nike new tags. These look like sweatpants. Oh, all right. Some we'll warm up that. pants. 
it says fifty dollars. Nice. So pretty good. We'll Maybe start at we'll twenty five. We'll start at thirty. Thirty. And we'll hope 30. to get twenty five. Pro club. Interesting. Pro, pro club. club. It just says pro club. <laughs> it just says pro club everywhere. We've never heard of that brand, so I've never heard of it. So don't know anything about it. I mean it's thick, it's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. medium. Man, we have gotten a lot of medium things. Yeah. I would bet Usually when you get boxes like this, it's majority one person stuff or, you know, a couple of people's stuff. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of things in the same size and all of that. So, yeah. Okay, Columbia. Oh, look at that. Extra large. What's Ooh, gross. Looks to be some sort of bleach maybe or yeah. color, um, like, or maybe rust. Yeah, rust. I bet it's rust. So. At least it's on the inside, but yeah. we got to see if it's anywhere. This is a oh, pretty cool pattern. Man, it's everywhere. Oh, gross. Let's see. Jansen. Made Jansen. In USA. Sweater vest. This is nice. This is very trendy right now. I sold a couple sweater vests recently. So I can see this doing really well. I feel like girls on TikTok are wearing a lot of these types of sweater vests. <laughs> and also men on TikTok. <laughs> Stitches. Stitches. Okay. It says By Yankees. Yankees. Are the Yankees red? I thought the Yankees were blue. Well, apparently they've got a red... Um, Ew, what's, oh, <laughs> I, thought those are, I thought that was like a packet of nerds. <laughs> Silica gel. Anyway, yeah, apparently they've got a red style. Interesting. New York Yankees. Okay. Banana Republic soft wash shirt. That should be good. $15 maybe. Some sort of pants. Tech gear. Tech gear terrible. again. Terrible. Pretty sure tech gear is also sold at Walmart. Medium. Maybe, I I could maybe Target. Target. Man, well, you have a lot of sweatpants. Like I don't need hundred items from this. Is this Lululemon? Yeah, yes, it is. Lululemon. Wow. All right. All right, we'll take it. Size large. Some Seems shorts. pretty old though. Size large. Yeah. Are these men? Are they cut off? No, nope, they're just short. Very short. Running shorts, you know, track shorts. Yeah, you got to get that breeze. <laughs> is that why you? Like, <laughs> Breeze between the knees. Yeah. Okay, here we have a Forever 21 shirt. Forever 21 men. Is this velvet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you sure it's men? It says Forever oh, 21 men. Oh, it says right men. there. Wow, it that's says men. crazy. It is new with tags, but it was only originally <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe uh, we'll try to sell that for to Plato's closet. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, club, club room. room. Lame. Quarter zip. Yeah, whatever. Estate performance. That's pretty good. Oh I think that's pretty cute. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. New with tags. Good fella. That's Target. That's Target's brand. And you know these are twenty five dollars. Yeah. Size twenty eight. Good fellow and co. Very small size. Skinny boy. I used to be twenty eight at one point or another. Believe it or not. Anyway, Mark Anthony. That's pretty good. We've sold a couple items by this brand, and they actually sell pretty quickly. Not for a lot of money. I think it's a Kohl's brand, but it seems to have a following. Express, we've also sold multiple items from Express. Yeah, this is totally the vibe that Express <laughs> yeah, gives off. That, that, that have sold. Right. So we'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. Size XL. Champion. Okay. Is it is a this reverse nice? weave? Nope. I don't think Doesn't so. Doesn't see. But Champion sweater. This is a nice color. I think it's pretty cute. I could see this selling for sure. I think it would look nice on you. Too bad it's too big. But, yeah, you've got a lot of sweatshirts. Too many sweatshirts and too many sweatpants, I think. Okatin, America Surf. I feel like this is a good thing, but I'm not yeah. sure. Katin, no, it's Katin. Yeah, it's that same one that we had. Ruined. Yeah, that was ruined, I think. Katin. So. America Surf Co. Anyway, those should do pretty well. Probably like $20. Ezekiel, that's Ezekiel. not very good. It's a skate brand, I think. And um, I've looked it up a couple times at the bins, and I've never actually bought anything at the bins. So you can know that it's not a very good brand if we aren't willing to spend like a dollar fifty on it. So, <laughs> yeah. So Stafford. a pair of dress pants by the brand Stafford, which I don't know anything about that brand. I would expect it's basically nothing. Okay, let's see what's this. Gap. Meet me in the Gap. Pretty interesting. That's cool. Perfect for Pride Month coming up in June. $190? That cannot be right for no a shirt. No way. For a t-shirt? For a t-shirt? 
It must be this must be some sort of limited edition. Or deck. like um Look at I don't know, maybe it's like benefiting maybe it benefits like a charity or something. I don't know. Hmm. Let us know if you know anything about this t shirt in the comments. We'll do some hundred and ninety eight dollars for a t shirt from the gap is like that's unheard nice. of. All right, we got a few more shoes down there, so that's something to look forward to. That's good. Or okay. maybe at least just one. Sneak peek. Oh, a a few. Okay. okay. J. Crew. J. Crew. Looks yeah. like. Next. Um, okay, what's this? New, New tag. Tags. Mountain Warehouse. Mountain Warehouse. Uh, Not Mountain Hardware, but uh, the, the warehouse. Like, this oh. was discounted to $15 at one Yikes. point. That's not very good. Oh, and it they was originally 30. only 30 so hmm. not great. Not great. Okay. Is this Lululemon? Nope, it's REI. REI. That's pretty good. REI. Some hiking shorts. Pretty yep. good. We love REI. 36. Okay, is this Lululemon? REI. Arcteryx. Arcteryx. Wow. All right. Okay. Two Arcteryx things. Okay. 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 This is nice. Hopefully, we can sell this for a hundred. Yeah. And it'll wow. make up for one fourth <laughs> of the box. I don't know how much that will go for. Yeah, we've never sold Arcteryx, so yeah. we don't exactly know the market, but we just know that it's super high end. Yeah. Okay. Nike. Some. Some pants? golf pants, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like golf. They're nice golf pants, so you could probably wear these to work and then wear them to the golf course yeah. right afterwards. Nike. Medium. A pair Some of shorts. athletic shorts. Pretty good. Ten, fifteen dollars. Vineyard vines. Vineyard okay. vines, cool. Interesting. A little fleece zip up. Vineyard vines. Cute. Medium. That's nice. Alright. Let's, let's check, start with these friggin' these Steve shoes. Maddens. Steve okay. Maddens, not great. They look like they're in really nice condition, never yeah, been worn. Basically. Yeah, wow. So, these are a pretty cool shoe though. Power. It says yeah. Howie. The Howie shoe? Leather upper. <laughs> so That's good. Bottoms are pretty good condition too. Not bad. Yeah. I feel like we have a good chance of selling them at least. Mm -hmm. I just think this style of shoe is so weird because like obviously your foot only like goes to like here, you know? And then you just have like, it's like clown shoes. <laughs> but like I guess it's so that your feet look bigger, so that you you know look like more like a man. I don't really, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. It's I don't get it. I think they look really ugly, but it's my personal opinion. Okay, are these girls Pumas? in the comments? Let us know what you think of those type of shoes. Yeah, Puma. Puma, Roma, Roma. cool. Um, these are worn. pretty interesting. Pretty worn. You got a little yeah. bit of a little bit of work. Yeah, right, for sure. See that right there. Yeah, it has a little mark here too but i think these are pretty nice very pretty classic puma style with just uh one streak of color yeah. unlisted not great i don't think unlisted is very good yeah i don't know these look like brand new though they don't seem like they've really been worn upper is man-made so these are faux leather Lame. oh well oh well yeah but i would expect that they'll still sell they're in nice condition so. 10 bucks yeah 20 bucks i don't know so not the best box that we've gotten i don't think the worst box i think the worst box was one that we didn't open for youtube it was a 25 pound box and it was terrible <laughs> but the reason we didn't open it for youtube was that we just really needed that inventory and we needed to get it processed so this one i think it's okay we had a couple good things we got two architects things we've mm -hmm. got a couple of lemon items got plenty of nike plenty of under armor so i definitely think we'll make our money back on it it's just a matter of how much time are we going to be spending listing all of these items and having them not sell as well right. like a lot of the dress pants a lot of the dress shirts it's kind of tough because yes they will eventually sell but was it really worth our time listing it i do have a really good process for listing you know from the time of Listing it, you know, taking pictures of it, listing it, getting it inventoried, all of that probably only takes me about 20 minutes in total. So, you know, if something sells for $10, is $10 worth 20 minutes of my time? Yeah, $30 yeah. an yeah. hour. I guess. I guess. We make these videos for a few reasons, right? We mm -hmm. need good inventory mm -hmm. at a, you know, short amount of time where we're mm -hmm. able to get you know just a huge lot at once mm -hmm. we don't want to compromise ourselves with the baby so we don't really want to go thrifting to the bins mm -hmm. you know all of that we might go thrifting to regular stores you know where we can distance ourselves from others 
and you know we like making these videos for you mm -hmm. the youtube content is also a good reason to make these videos yeah. but overall i think that we do take a gamble everyone takes a gamble who gets one of these boxes mm -hmm. and is it worth the gamble so far we have kind of been pretty lucky so we lean more on yes it's worth it but mm -hmm. this one does not really help much of anything yeah but we got those two arcturix things which is really right. exciting our first time finding it right and the thing is is that yeah in in your business you have to make decisions about how you're going to spend your time so with these they are a little bit more expensive than the amount that we spend at you know the bins so these things will probably end up being around four dollars per item and at the bins we pay about two dollars per item so it's not that much of a difference but mm -hmm. the main difference is that we didn't have to spend the amount of time so the amount of time that it would take for us to pull this amount of stuff out of the bins pull 100 pounds out of the bins as a full day of work eight mm -hmm. hours so in total that amount of time is worth money to us you know eight hours of our work is worth money and so even though we might get a lower profit per these items that eight hours you know it kind of evens out yeah. so i do think you know you have to kind of balance that and we like sourcing at the bins better than mm -hmm. getting just this price box but at times we need this and at times we need the bins so it just is all about yeah you know that's the why we don't of it all we don't do this all the time you know yeah for all the bins videos that we've made we've made maybe five bins videos for every one of these right if not more so mm -hmm. i think that it's pretty good balance for now right exactly so let us know down in the comments what you think of thread up rescue boxes and if you have ordered any lately how how have they been yeah guess where this came from and yeah. in the bloopers we'll let you know yeah and if you aren't subscribed consider subscribing to our channel we have a couple other unboxing videos that you can check out and we will probably have more in the future unless you know we really just hate this box after opening it but i don't think that's going to be the case i think we'll still order some yeah we'll we'll know for sure once we do the inventory and we'll kind of mm -hmm. get an estimate of how much we think we can make exactly and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up that will really help us feel better about you know what we pulled out of here <laughs> if we got lots of thumbs up on the video we would yeah, love that maybe we'll make like five dollars on this video and recoup just a fraction of what we spent on <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Where does it come from? Mechanicsburg, PA. I thought that was one of the good places. Yeah, I thought people always said that that was like the, the best place, but... Then people said that the Phoenix one was bad, and the last box we got was from Phoenix, and it was really good, so... Yeah.